I'd like to talk about the approach you should take to doing web design, web development, any sort of coding. The process is very important. I've seen a lot of students who will code an entire ch page before ever checking for errors, and that makes finding errors very hard. Because then you're looking for a needle in a haystack instead of a needle among four or five pieces of hay. So let's get you started. I've opened up Composer and I've created just a new file. The f first thing I will do is I will save my file. This one I'm going to call practice because I'm going to toss it. You should name yours lesson 3-1 which is what you're going to hand it in as. I've already done that one. So I'm going to call this t practice. This is the page title. Once I put it in here it's not going to let me change it. Our page title is what appears in the tab up here. I'm also going to save it as practice HTML in my web scripting folder. Now if you look over here in web scripting you'll see that I've already done, I'm sorry, less than 4-1 so you should be naming yours 4. But I just want to show you getting started. Make sure you've selected the source file. You'll notice that it puts in the doc type for you and all of the things that should exist in every web page. It tells you what character set you're using, which is fine for most English varieties, and our title is in here. It won't let you change this once you've put it in in this program because it has it saved this way. Then you close your head, we have our body tag, which just has a break statement in it, and everything you put in the body, this is the actual programming we're going to do. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put in your name. So I'm going to do this by putting in an H1 tag for heading 1 and I'm going to put it in with my name Mary Winchester and then I'm going to close the tag. Then I can go back to the design view and I can see how it looks. If you've watched all the videos it's going to show you how to make changes to the formatting here. Typically you don't want to use a serif font so I'm going to change the style here. H1, make sure you put in space, style equals, and then I'm going to put in a font family. And I want a sans serif. You could actually put in a list here, which is really what a font family should be or you could use font face just using one. Um, so here I could put Arial sans serif and it will use one of those. I can also assign a color here if I wish. And you should be picking your colors from the file, file you picked on Cooler. And you can either use RGB or hexadecimal to put in the colors. And so I'm going to put in RGB 217, 204, 181, which was off of the colors that I picked for this. Now, to make sure that this closes correctly, you want to make sure you have the slash in front of the H1, and this looks correct. But you should test it after any major lines of code. Okay, I don't actually like that color. I was actually looking at my background color, so I'm going to have to go in and change it. But that's why you test, because I was just reading the long, wrong line of my notes, so it should have been 242, 69, 53. So as you're coding in, and I'm obviously not going to show you the whole page, you get detailed directions from lynda.com, each time you make a change, you should test it. I'd like to center this. So after my color, I'm going to type in align equals quote center close quote and I'm going to test it again. And again, the important thing is you test each time you make a change. Um, you can also view it in split window, but it's not letting you see the all of the code here. Now if you want to change the background color, which they don't actually show you when they're working on the fonts. Um, in the body area, you can add a style to the body. So I'm going to add 
style equals, and we're going to put in a background color, which you do by just typing in background color, colon RGB, and this is what I was looking at before. That was the background color I wanted, 217, 204, 181, and close with a semicolon. And again, I'm going to test it. Ooh, and see, I messed everything up, so I made an error in there. So I have to go back and read, and it did not like that. It ate my code. So you should save frequently. So I had to have had an error in my body style. So my body style should be font, nope. Body style should be background Col dash color colon RGB two seventeen two oh four one eighty one semicolon quotes that should be right, but this time before I check it I'm gonna save it. Okay, so that's right for my background color. I'm going to have to put my, I lost my H1 tags, and I'm not sure why it did that to me. So H1 style equals font family real sans serif color RGB 242 space 69 space 53 semicolon quote close my tag close my h1 and then proofread it font family Arial, sunset well that's not a serif color RGB 242 69 53 semicolon close okay that should be good so I'm going to save and it's all there except that I forgot to add my align equals center so I wanted to show you that you should save frequently and when you save it, it'll automatically let you check it. And you should be doing that regularly. That way you'll see immediately when you make an error. Now, I am not in love with this program. I really prefer Dreamweaver. This isn't bad for free. We will probably be switching to something else when we switch to HTML5 because this does not seem to support it. But it's a pretty decent editor for a free editor. And I like that I can switch back and forth between where I'm typing and see what it's doing right away. And it also incorporates FTP, so if I were to want to publish this, I would just click it to select it and hit publish. And then hit publish again. And I could test this. Bring up Chrome. I always test in different things. I like to test in Firefox and Chrome. Firefox to me is one of the most standards compliant browsers and it's my favorite. But I test in others. So this should be at mccdgm.net, mwinchester, and I think I called it practice.html. And there it is. So you'll finish with all the requirements for this week, creating the sample when I had you create, and that's how to use this editor.